listening to Talking Heads with Naughty. Only on Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. Talking Heads with Naughty is brought to you by the Sixth Caribbean Baseball Cup, Burger King, the Cancer Treatment Centers of America, the Central Bank of the Bahamas, the Cleveland Clinic, ESC Distributors Limited, Fine Threads, Grand Bahama News, John's Department Store, Jokers Wild, KFC, the Ministry of Public Service, Naughty Johnny's, Percy's Island Games, Prince Masters, and Tropical Gyros. Happy Friday, everyone. This is your boy, Naughty and your company, right up until 6 p.m. It is the Friday, October 25th edition of Talking Heads, and the weekend is here, and like I always tell you, all work and no play makes you a dull person. All play and no work makes you broke. Find a happy medium. Well, the, the, the weekend is the happy medium. Now you need to balance it, but make sure I love yourself for sure. All right? And of course, like I told you, this is the Friday edition. I'm going to open up the lines. We got lots to talk about. All right, and if you want to chime in, here's how. Here's how you can become a talking head. Brought to you by BTC. Text lines powered by BTC, 422-GR96. That's 422-4796. Phone lines open in New Providence, 323-6232, 325-4316, 325-4259. 12-free and anyone in the family islands, 242-300. 5720-242-300-5720. Stream us live. Take us wherever you want to go. GuardianTalkRadio.com. That's GuardianTalkRadio.com. BTC Flow Channel 612. Cable Channel 969. That's how you get it in. That's how you get it on for fresh new smart talk all day. Right here on Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Now I got a little FYI for you. You know, I like to keep you in the know and get you where you want to go. And of course, the Guardian... It's Thank you, our loyal readers, for helping to make this one of the oldest newspapers in the region. And we want you to be a part of our Vision Challenge giveaway promotion. Beginning October 28th through November 22nd, all you need to do is find the hidden Nassau Guardian 180 Years logo printed every day in the Nassau Guardian newspaper. Once you find it, you could win prize money. And plenty prize money at that. Just purchase your Nassau Guardian newspaper every day, beginning Monday, October 28th. Find the hidden 180th Nassau Guardian logo. Cut out the page. Mark the spot. Write your name and phone number on that clipping. And drop off your entries at our offices on Carter Street in Oaksfield. Every Friday, November 1st, 8th, 15th, and 22nd, one drawing will take place to pick the lucky winner. It's that simple. The Nassau Guardian 180th Anniversary Vision Challenge giveaway promo kicking off on the 28th. Now, got a little FYI for you as well. If you want the hookup, and I told you I was going to get you all a hookup for, for baseball. Yes, man. I told you all I had your hookup. I told you just relax yourself. Uncle Naughty got the hookups. You all want some tickets. You all want to go out there, you know, and check out uh, the Caribbean Baseball Cup, the sixth Caribbean Baseball Cup, October 23rd through the 28th, six days, 17 games. Listen, I got the hookup for you. As a matter of fact, I got tickets for the Bahamas next game. Well, for the Bahamas. That's going on on Monday. Now, I got 100 tickets here. Yes, I got 100 tickets here right here to give away. Cool. Now, here's how we're going to do it. All you got to do is come to the Nassau Garden. If you can make it before 5 and you want tickets for Saturday and Sunday, bam. You say, hey. I need a couple of tickets for Saturday and Sunday. Naughty promised me some tickets. He was announcing it on the radio. Boom. So if you come down to the Guardian today before 5, anytime tomorrow before 5, you're going to be able to get the tickets. And then on Monday, same thing. So what you're doing is you're coming to the Guardian. And listen, we're going to record your name and your information. So don't come try it, come 10, 15, 10. If you need four, come and say, I need four. When the 100 gone, the 100 is gone. But there's tickets for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. All you got to do is get here to the Guardian before we close at 5. Get your hookup for the weekend. Come in tomorrow if you can't make it today. Get your hookup for the weekend. Or come in on Monday. 
But we need you there. All right? Against that game against USL. Okay? So you, you got to get out there. Make sure when you get tickets, say, I want tickets for QSL. But then also ask, hey, any other games that you get tickets for? Take you away. Guardian hooking it up for you. Guardian Radio. So definitely get into our studios here in Oaksfield. You got till five today. And then, of course, you know, you could come in tomorrow or you come in on Monday and ask for the free baseball tickets. And they're going to hook you up. Get it? Got it? Good. All right, now that we got all of that out of the way, let's get up into the headlines. It's time for Headliners. Everything that's making headlines in the 242. Brought to you by the Fine Threads. And here's what's blazing up the pages of the National Guardian News and Views in Madison since 1844. All brought to you, of course, like I said, by Fine Threads. Both locations available for you Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Be sure to check them out online, finethreads.com. All right, big headlines. Grand Bahama caretaker triggers uproar. Says, elderly woman gifted her home. Is it just me or you all feel like Murphy Lion? I, I don't know, boy. I don't know. This story, yeah. I, I, I think Gino D need to be playing in the background because somebody tried to swing somebody here. PM pushes against UK leaders' position on reparations issue. Pintard says, menace seeking to garner personal attention. Seems like Mr. Minister's is playing the victim role again. Oh, he loves to play that victim role for sympathy. Mm-hmm. We've seen it, you know, be beneficial to him before. But you can't play the same card over and over. The well will eventually run dry. Man murdered at scrap metal yard. A man in New Providence was shot uh, dead while working at a scrap metal yard off Carmichael Road yesterday. Chief Superintendent of Police Tess Newbold, officer in charge of the Southwestern Division, Said officers received reports of gunshots in the area of Carmichael Road. At noon, police met a man who was believed to be in his early 50s at the scene with gunshot wounds. And, and if it turns out to be the person who they say it is, that, that's a very tragic loss. Because that gentleman was quite involved in national cleanup days, conservation, protecting our natural resources, protecting our coastlines and our mangroves. We lost a good one, if that is the case. I'm just waiting for confirmation. We got that and so much else to talk about. I mean, what's your take on Murphy, man? Don't let me know what y'all think of Murphy. I, I, I personally think Murphy trying to go to heck on a, go to Hades on a scholarship. I, I tell you that much. That's some cold blooded ish right there. Is she out of that woman's house yet? Is she free to up yet? Let me know. Grand Bahama chime in. Let me know. I also want to know what should take. Ambulances unfit? All them brand new ambulances we got, but they unfit for use? Is it because they stick shift? I wonder. Listen, more abuse of disabled parking uh, spots. I- I'm going to deal with some offenders, including the Royal Bahamas Police Force again. I also want to know your takes on, on these potholes all over. You could fall into another country or to the core of the earth. That's how deep they are. And that headline I just touched on is former PM, Dr. Hubert Minnis, playing victim again. I want to know your take on that and more as we get into the buzz on the flip side of the break. All brought to you, of course, by John Shoes. Phone lines are open. Text lines are open. Waiting to hear from you all on the flip side of the break as we get into the buzz. Brought to you by John Shoes as the Friday... October 25th edition of Talking Heads continues right after this. Dreams come true. Play with Island Games. We paying more out to you. Don't mind the noise in the market. You get cash in your pocket. Cause Island Games is spicy and spicy is tradition. So when you play, play Island Games. we put in Bahamian's voice. Guaranteed to pay Island Games. We like their mother jokers. We've been here from the start. From the bike to computer. Island Games. We can make your dreams come true. We playing with Island Games. 
Are you looking to save for a big purchase or occasion? Do you want your money to start making money for you? Well, let me introduce myself. My name is Bond, the Bahamas Government Savings Bond. I am guaranteed to earn interest on your money one to six years. Government savings bonds are available to all Bahamians, and for as little as $100, you can start to save for your future. The Bahamas Government Savings Bond, a safe investment guaranteed. Check out the Central Bank of the Bahamas website for details. John Shoes and Accessories is your one-stop shop for all your footwear needs. You will find what you're looking for among the growing collection of classic and trendy styles with new arrivals every week. John's covers the whole family and has great prices, helpful and friendly customer service. Your experience shopping with us will be time well spent. Shop with us online at www.johnshoes.com. John's also now carries small home appliances. So come on into John's located on Rosetta Street in Palmdale and Carmichael Road West. John's, we put fashion at your feet. You are invited to the 6th Caribbean Baseball Cup at the Andre Rogers Baseball Stadium October 23rd through 28th, 2024. Bringing the action will be the national teams from Cuba, Curacao, Dominican Republic, U.S. Virgin Islands, St. Martin, and Team Bahamas. There will be three games daily from October 23rd to 27th and the championship gold and bronze games on October 28th. Don't you miss it. The 6th Caribbean Baseball Cup at the Andre Rogers Baseball Stadium. Save the date, set your alerts, and be there. Take a juicy bite out of life with the new KFC Bacon Ranch Sandwich. From its 100% premium 120 gram white meat filet, KFC Signature Ranch Sauce, and fresh lettuce, to its cheddar cheese and smoky bacon stacked on a toasted brioche bun, you'll love this ultimate sandwich experience. Yes, the fried chicken experts have done it again. The KFC Bacon Ranch Sandwich is available in original recipe or spicy, but only available for a limited time at your favorite KFC. The new KFC Bacon Ranch Sandwich is here, and it's finger licking good. You're listening to Talking Heads with Naughty. Oh, only on Guardian Radio. 96.9 FM. It's time for the buzz. What are you buzzing on? Brought to you by John Shoes. We're back at you on the Friday, October 25th edition of Talking Heads. And we're into the buzz, brought to you, of course, by John Shoes. And don't forget, John's got that workwear for you. All right, all your nurses, yes, they got your medical wear, as well as your chefs. They got the chef wear as well, all right, in addition to all the other workwear they got going on for you. So be sure to check them out, both locations, John's Plaza called Michael and the flagship store on Rosetta today. Both of those locations available for you, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday through Saturday. And, and, of course, you know, at John, serving you is a pleasure. All right. You know, there's two things that I always go on about on this show that I say I feel are neglected. The, the two ends of the spectrum, the youth and the elderly. When I got to beat my gum today on the elderly, I, I, I always feel that, that, that we've seen cases of the elderly being neglected, not checked for, you know, just put out on the side. But this right here. When you, when you potentially take advantage of somebody who's paying to be in your care, where are we? I mean, that's what comes to mind. Instead of taking care of the person you've been contracted to take care of, because they're elderly and because they have some issues, you decide to take advantage of the situation? Well, that's what I call it. GB caretaker triggers up what says elderly woman gifted her home. The Ministry of Social Services has launched an investigation into allegations involving a private care facility on Grand Bahama and has referred the matter to police for further action. The action stems from allegations made by Grand Bahamian Philippa Carey, who said she placed her ailing grandmother into a care facility called Home Away From Home in 2023. Carey, who shared her story with ZNS Grand Bahama, said she made the choice after finding a job on another island. She said when she returned to Grand Bahama, she met owner of Home Away From Home, Marvy Knowles, living in her grandmother's home while the grandmother was still at a private care facility. You know how that works, way. Right? She said she learned that her grandmother, Ingrid Carey, gave notes the home, signed over her NIB patient, signed over a survivor's death benefit for her grandfather, and gave notes power of attorney over her. Knowles claimed the grandmother begged her to take the home. I, I, I got red flags all over this. Let's get to the phone lines. Talking heads. Yeah, Naughty, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? Well, someone lying, because Miss Noel say 
the woman go and get a lawyer and everything. Last night on the news, the Kevin Russell lawyer. But Muff, said, Muff, Muff, let me, let me stop. In question, Miss Carey, who is elderly mm-hmm. and obviously needs in-home care, needs, obviously has some issues and that she's dealing with that she needs to be taken care of, right? Mm-hmm. I, I find it highly doubtful that she's going to go and find a lawyer to make this happen. If she can't no, take care of herself. The, the lawyer say last night, Miss Knowles come to him. And then the news last night saying the lawyer is her cousin. Well, so if Miss Knowles came cousin, to him I'm and the lawyer is her cousin, then he needed to explain how yeah. we got the depositions. We need yeah, it recorded. Some stuff, that's some shady stuff right there. Why was there no I, videotape recording uh, 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 of the... Now, see, and see, guess what? A lot of people don't know. They got to be careful that they beating up their gums because I know how this thing go. Remember, my dad is 92, had a broken hip, been convalescent, thank God, doing well, still barking orders like he captain on Emerald Seas. But at the end of the day, I know how this caregiver thing go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, buddy, you know, you have to make depositions. Sometimes I had to deal with paperwork for him, legal paperwork, and the lawyer said, record it. So why wasn't this recorded? If everything is above board... Why wasn't this video recorded? Why weren't the witnesses identified as to who exactly. witnessed to see in this side? Watch it. He better watch it. He don't get this far because my mother lived up to 79 before she died. She had a little touch of dementia and Alzheimer's. And you ain't in full mind, man. Sometimes a woman don't recognize her own children. I think... And he's I, just I, a nephew and thing. And you ain't in the right state of mind, man. So Ms. Noah's talking foolish. The more I read this, the, it seems like a pair of cousins conspired to take advantage of the situation with this exactly. elderly lady. Uh, and then when I see Philippa, the girl, the lady, she has sons, two boys and things like that. My God, yes, I eat man. That woman got to be paying rent. And obviously she and found a like job that. because Freeport is right. in such a condition that we talk about it each and every Tuesday. That this administration said it was going to do so much for Grand Bahama, but three years after that, people still yeah. got to migrate to other thing, islands to find jobs. Yeah, and another thing, do he talk about the woman get leave, a woman going to social services and all that? No, my social services, they want the police get involved. Say something here right there, say nothing to no woman get leave, a woman know nothing and things like that. So don't try that with the lawyer. I'm trying to switch up this. And here's the catch. How, if I put you in your care facility and I come back to check on my relative, she's in the care facility and you post up in my house? Yeah, How'd that work? How'd that work? She's trying to swing that woman out of inheritance, man. That's all what it is. She better stop doing it. She say she can't a woman to get to the doctor to get checked out first. Before she signed the voice, she got to get her hair checked at the same time when she had that woman in the doctor's office. Because her hair didn't look good. She's trying to swing that woman on her inheritance. That's all. All right, no, they all right. About doing in the 5 o'clock, yes, Muff. And go, get, and go get some of them um, Caribbean baseball tickets, but that's some good baseball okay. playing over yeah, the weekend. Come get some, hey? Yeah, man. But there you go. You look at it and it, it just jumps out at you. It don't smell right. It don't pass the sniff test. It smells like BS. It smells like something a guan with this. Caller, I see you will get to you in a second. But wow. I'm telling you. Let me check the text lines too, because like I say, people fired up. Jared Higgs of the Nassau Guardian said that Murphy told him via telephone that she would give the house back. All right, text the thanks. I appreciate that. Let me call my colleague Jared. I don't believe you, but. I prefer to get it from the horse's mouth than this one. Um, Murphy says she can give it back, but I don't believe Murphy until I see Murphy give it back. Because Murphy looks very scandalous, very unscrupulous. Yes. This, this right now, like, this, it's not a good look. Not a good look. Mr. Producer, check that phone line for me, please. Naughty, great show as usual. Once a man, twice a child. That's some sick stuff. Swinging an old woman out of a house and her property. Naughty tell her text that that ain't no true. That woman said she ain't giving nothing back. So now I guess she wants to be strong and wrong then. Because obviously it looks very unscrupulous and very underhanded, the methods that she did to, to acquire this property. And now she's doubling down, saying she ain't going to give it back? Let's go to the phone. Nice talking heads. You're naughty by nature. Not because I you hate you. What's going on, GNN? Listen, let me tell you something with this. With this, this what it sound like to you? Tell me. It, it don't smell right I to you, right? I can tell you. I can tell you. But one thing we have, a, a problem we have as Bahamians, the minute something hit the surface, we grab that 
And we go on with that. We need to try to look at it objectively. Because I guess if, if, if Sarkis' million was, 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 was going to court here, he'd have been guilty. Mm-hmm. According to Bahamian. Right. He's guilty. Now, I ain't getting no brief for the woman, and I ain't getting no brief for the thing. My concern is mama. I take in the, the information that was given to, to, to the instructions. See, if, if something happened to you, one of your family members or your wife or the husband, the first person the police could look for is that person who that person was around. That's the first line of questioning. You don't go look for somebody or there who you ain't know or whatever the case. You go to the wife and say, listen, we found your husband dead. Bam, bam, bam. What's going on? You sure this? You sure that? The first person I was going to question was the, the, the lady. Miss, what, what's your name? Mervy. The lady who, who gone away. Oh, did you mean the daughter? I was going to question the daughter. That's the first guy I was going to You know why? Because according to the daughter, admission. See, everybody's scrapping to get the spoils of this war. And the, the, the only thing that caused me to raise a red flag with, with, with the caretaker is the fact that the caretaker but did all GNN, the GNN, work. listen, listen, listen. I get it. If it's family. You know how families go. When somebody exactly. pass and see, something divvy up, they play cutthroat. I've seen it happen before. See, I what, get family. What, However, who is this foreign entity caregiver who I put my grandmother in this home and now I come back a couple months later because I had to go find another job, obviously, to hold take on, care of the situation. And hold you post on. up in my house? How that work? Hold on. Hold on. Who robbing this train? Me or you, man? All right. Go ahead, man. And it is my show. So anyhow, thing, go ahead, conductor. The only thing what give me a uh, 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 big red flag with a caretaker, she ain't tell nobody nothing. Exactly. Like, That's the red flag. GNN. You think now, now? Hold on. Hold on. GNN. I come to you yeah. now. You, in my total capacity. You looking out for me. I tell you. GNN. I want you to do X, Y, and Z. Now, you knowing me, you're supposed to look out for me. The first thing you could do is say what? Folks, we need an attorney here, whatever, because Naughty has requested X, Y, and Z. We and need I. To go check Naughty. Ah. But you can't just do it in the Naughty. dark, all hush hush, and then when it comes to light, say, see. No, 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 no. It looks bad. It my looks underhanded. Flag, Naughty, my second white flag is with the, the, with the, with the, with the family member and the caretaker. Ain't nobody try to question mama. It's a possibility you could question mama. Okay? Now, according to the, the, the family member, huh, what she say, I had to go look for way on another island somewhere else. Red flag. Because if that house is weight, what I understand is weight, and they don't owe that. We you going on the But GNN, island, hold on. Get- maybe they don't owe on that house, but maybe bills are taking care of mama. Hold maybe on. things piling up there. Oh. We ain't talking hold about on. the economy in Grand Bahama. We ain't hold talking on, about how many Naughty. people unemployed in Grand hold Bahama. On. Hold on. I agree with what she say, Naughty. I'm speculating. Okay. She say she had to get money to go take care of mama. Now, mama was getting a check from NIB for X amount of dollars. Well, wouldn't so it? Why, wouldn't, you wouldn't, didn't, wouldn't, why you didn't take mama check? From a- 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 NIB in a house you don't have to pay for and help take care of mama. Well, uh, maybe she was trying to take that NIB check, but she couldn't because Bernie, because uh, Murphy had it. Listen, <laughs> I'm talking about, I talk about before mama go out to the Because house. maybe that was the pension that was coming in to take care of mama. And when that started uh, drying up and getting low, you got to go take a job to make more, make ends meet and make sure that things covered. The two of them get it because the, the man who left the house and everything and, 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 and the money in escrow for them said, listen, I want you to take care of whoever this lady is to me. See, that's a full-time job for her right there. She ain't going to look for no job. She could have stayed and get mama and pension check and the money with that man leave. In a hold on. Now, nah, nah, hold on. Now, nah, see, you can't speculate. You talk about speculating. You speculating. can't speculate because you don't know that the eye, the dotted eyes and cross T's of that um, GNN. That might have yes, been put in there. Hold on. That might have been put in there without specification. X, no, Y, and Z is left to take care of A, B, and C. But it didn't specifically say you are not to take a job elsewhere. You will be the, the estate will break off money for no, you every week in order naughty, to take care of. That wasn't that wasn't what, determined. Naughty, that's what the woman say. This ain't what I speculate. And she say the man tell her take care of my whatever the woman. Exactly, was but there's money left. If I tell you GNN, hey, here no more. Here's X, Y, and Z. Take care, MJ and the boys. I'm not specifically telling you, hey. There's been a salary broken down in this for you to make sure and ensure I take care of this every week for me. No, I'm telling you to do it. I'm putting you in charge. However, yeah. there's no parameters there. 
That didn't say you can't take another job, you can't live your life. It was ensured that so, she's taken so, care of. So what happened to the what happened to the two boys where, where they was living when she's on the island weekend? Obviously, she got somebody taking care of them. Eh? Let me tell you something, naughty. The two of them only. I'm grabbing at the spoils of war. Yeah, both of them. But yeah, hold on, hold on. At the end of the day, if that is the case, shouldn't family be the one to get the spoils of war rather than a foreign entity that come in and well, swing like a well, snake? I, I agree. I agree. Well, that okay. Have a day in court. All right they then, but, it, but at the end of the day, at, at the end of the day, family should get it price of anybody else, right? I look at Grammy. And who That's my concern. Correct. Grammy. And if Grammy, and if you look at Grammy, Grammy, Grammy look like she won one of the things. Well, then somebody need to go question. Because Grammy don't look too far around the band where Grammy can answer a question. Ain't nobody questioning Grammy. Everybody did. That's my house. Oh, no, no. Why? That's my house. That's my, ain't nobody say, let me go talk to Grammy. Let me see what Grammy's saying. Anybody. Yeah, right. but listen, let me tell you something. Hey. She doubling down being strong and wrong, you know. Yeah, but see, the, 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 the family member have the upper hand because she is family. That's why she got the upper hand. And, 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 and GNN, like, we, to be honest, not that I'm, I have any breed with either, but you got, I, I'm a little more sensitive to the situation. Just how you are sensitive to, say, dialysis. I'm sensitive to this because I'm dealing with an elderly parent. You understand what I'm I, saying? I, I happy you mentioned that because uh, Dwight this morning was saying, oh, this doesn't happen. And I say, Dwight, that's not true. I just go to the hospital three times a week. And I've been there for almost seven years now, going three times a week. I've been on and on, off them wards. And Naughty, let me tell you something. There is something in the hospital called borders. And you know how they get there? The people that come. Uh, and I just want, and I, but you, you could jump to my point because that's just where I was going with this. Bring Why? You, remember there. And I hold on. Look back for them. You've been there for seven years. Seven. Lord bless the dead. I've been seeing that since Fat Back Pass. And Fat Back, Lord bless him, my, my D O double G R, sucky, sucky Thank now. At least 15 years. At least 15. That's why I tell him. And from when I went to see Fatback, when he was going through his ordeal and going through his last stages, and he was passing a myriad of old people in there. And I asked the nurses, who are these people? Naughty? Borders. These people are borders. Their children borders. drop them off and they leave them here and wait for them to die. And you Thank know you what? When I looked much. around the room, what really got me is I saw a couple of mamas that I knew from in the hood who had some good Benny cake and good coconut tart. Their kids had left them there. I saw some Eastern Roads, if you know what I mean, GNN. Yes, jumped course. off there. I was like, my okay. God. So Not everybody's do it. And it's a crying shame. And I was <laughs> only getting to this point to get to this point, and at that point to get to this point. We neglect no, the elderly too guilty. much in this country. Both of them guilty. One guilty of neglect. And didn't want to clean mom up and change mom up pampers. And so she leave mama and somebody else. But all the money she say was coming in anyway. What the other woman get? Both of them guilty. And not anyway. People, behave, behave all that. Last point. Behaving people so bad with the border situation. That's why we can't get no beds in the hospital. Can't probably wouldn't come for the people. Some of them don't even go back to collect the dead bodies, naughty. Thanks for taking my call. All right. Hey, and just so you know, before you go, boy, a couple of taxes, then you done set a couple of... <laughs> All right, let's get to the other call. Yeah, bless up, Naughty. What's going on? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I ain't going to get into all the details like GNN, right? Because only God knows all things. But yes, what stood out for me, what you're saying. Also, I mean, I like how you corrected him as the various scenarios and variables. That is not important to me. What he did lay it on the head is, right? Documentation, like you said, right? Right? Right, so, I listen. Uh, you saying, you, if you're saying this would happen, you should be fought with. We're disclosing the documentation of this BS right now. With me, I, I had a chance to see my old man, Will. So it was like, wow, I see Annie Lydia, I see this one and that one. People who I know, who was it in me and somebody who I know. So once the daughter or the immediate family look at it, then they would know. So if there was a stipulation in the will of some type of uh, adherence, right? Something to you to a guideline for you to go by, right? The only people supposed to make sure that go to is the family members or the witness to the will. So I don't know how this woman could use some kind of ill skill they come in and say she get this thing now. So in any bitch event, something the fire is going on. I don't really care. You understand what I'm saying? It's, I mean, I, I saying as a family member still. I don't care how you put it. It's some bandulu. And, and it's a lady called and said allegedly this place is in possession of some other houses. This is allegedly because this is what it's all about now. You're talking you know about the caregiver in possession of some other houses as well, allegedly? Yeah, they say, but she's saying investigation. Allegedly. Right. Because who they say allegedly 
going back by the young lady out. You see what I'm saying? So wait, we, 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 listen to me. Bezo, you know, this country is a big disgrace, you know. Bless up, yeah. Yeah, man. Fiddy, and guess what, Fiddy, do Nobody wants to call wrong where wrong is. You call wrong on something, you, you get attacked. You know, I, I, I get a texter right now texting me. Shut up. What happened? I'm marching you gone? What happened? You had, you had ideas to try to swing an elderly person to it. Or are we getting too close to, the, to, to what it is? The fact that we neglect the elderly here is ridiculous. The fact that we have people preying on them is ridiculous. And this is global. If you look around old folks' homes and hospice centers, a lot of this goes on. Okay? And things tough. Some people are going to deal with the situation by getting another job or, or, or doing it. Other people are going to look to swing. And if it's that easy, who's to say they ain't going to try it? Obviously, you know, you get a good enough lawyer or you get a lawyer who's willing to ride with you and you get the right circumstance, you can end up in, in possession of something that you really don't deserve. Let me check. The caller, I see I'm coming to you right now. Let's go to the phone. Let's go to the text lines real quick. Naughty, the lady in Freeport still is in the house. Plus, she have people living inside the house. Naughty, there's too much to ask what's going on with that. Naughty, did you watch the news last night and the interview with Ms. Knowles? It sounds shady. Naughty, that woman said she ain't giving nothing back. Naughty, she said mortgage still on the house. They talking crap. How can you sign over a house where there used to be still a mortgage on it? Naughty, just how much money GNN think is mama's pension? Two or three hundred dollars? Medication, food, utilities to be taken care of. Is he, is he kidding? Besides, the lawyer should have said mama called him, not the caretaker. I think the caretaker is trying to pull a fast one. Naughty, I love to listening to GNN. Purebred Bahamian. <laughs> Ready, right or wrong, you don't care. You just like listening. <laughs> GNN is all boy too, man. It's all good. Let's go to the phone lines. Talking heads. Hey, Naughty. Hey, what's going on? Right here, listen, Naughty, I, I've been listening to GNN saying the same thing all day, and I do understand what he's talking about, the neglect. But what he failed to get past the neglect to see is that there's fraud going on, possibly. Listen, and, and I, and I want to reiterate this. I understand that if you're, you know, put in, in charge of taking care of someone, you need to do it. However, if things ain't things and you got to find another job, you got to put things in place in order to take care of the person as well to make that revenue to come in in order to take care of them long term as well also, correct? Exactly. Because I can tell you right now, one of my dad's prescription, every time we refill it, is over 200 bucks. One. And that's only one. So just imagine if mama pension two, three hundred dollars like the taxes say and medication bust up to that 300. And, and the, where that other hundred get stretched, you got to find somewhere else in order to take care of, correct? Exactly. But to look at it, the young lady didn't walk away, left mom and house unattended. She did not do that's that. That's another thing. If she went up and gallivanted and, 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 and took off, that's different. But she left measures in place to ensure that her, her, her elderly relative would have been taken care of. And I still can't get my head wrapped around how I leave the island for a couple of weeks and I come back. Mama in the, in the care in 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 the, in the old folks' home, and you post up in the house. How does that work? And and in, short, in such a short notice, you so you trying to tell me and the minute Mama walk in there, and and like the young lady said, this is not the only um 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 home that that this lady owns. But, 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 but listen, you know, it, it, it seems in. to me they did their research and they said, hey, she's sitting on a lot of stuff, and guess what? We could get this offer. They knew what they were dealing with. They knew they had a, a person with, with, with onset, of, allegedly dealing with onset of dementia or, or dementia. I mean, come and they, on. And they rushed, they also rushed. They took advantage of the situation. My thing yeah. is, in a matter of weeks, if I leave my, my relative in, in your care and all of a sudden now they say they, they won't give you the world, shouldn't you pick up the phone and say, hey, what's going on with said relative? They, I don't know if they're talking out their but, head, but yeah. they're asking that. And, and then you go from there. You just don't pop up and say, but I didn't tell nobody, but she did tell me, and she confided Naughty. in me, so I, I decided to do it. No, Naughty, it don't work that, like that. That was, a, 
that was exactly what I said this morning. Uh, I think it was on Dwight show. You know, I said what she should have de- de- done was to call the young lady because I know they had a communication. They had an agreement as to what was to be transpired between the old lady and her. And they, she had this young lady phone number. So when she saw this opportunity arise, she should have picked up the phone just for humanity's sake and say, listen here, um, this is what's going on with Mama. She is saying A, B, C, and D. How soon can you get here? Let's, 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 let's sit down and talk because I don't want no nonsense at the end of the day. That's one. Then to turn around, I mean, to have the audacity to say, I'm not giving it back. I'm not giving it back. Excuse you? That means she, she, she needy. She, she's stealing. Which means you're not giving it back. Everybody in the Bahamas is calling you out. And this is, this is on, on, on social media now. So I, I'm, I'm sure places over the world are sending their message in that is not on her side. I'm telling you, this is this this is really nefarious. You know, you know, this is nefarious. I mean, it's, it's horrible. It is. it is, and and that's sad. Very unscrupulous. Very, you know, and and what I don't like is the fact that people are put in a position to give care and they take advantage of said situation. That's right. They need to investigate this woman properly to see who else she took advantage of. And then watching social media, I've heard other allegations come out against this home about other elderly. See? Some un- unsavory report. So we're following up on that as well, too. But good okay. stuff as always. Have a good weekend. And, Bye, and let me get to this other phone call. Be safe. Take care now. Talking heads. Talking heads. Daddy, uh, you must uh, you must the interview with Shabika last night, the young lady. What the young lady saying? Hey, hey. Dro- Hello? Go ahead. You were breaking up. Go, go ahead. I, I couldn't hear you too good. What the young to the to the old folks home. Then when she got asked again, she said, Uncle and Aunt drop her. So she's lying. She abandoned a, she abandoned a woman. How, how she abandoned the woman? W- repeat that again for me. No, because she said that her uncle and aunt drop her there. So if you was my uncle, and I can't drop her there, and I say, Unks, drop mama to the home. We got it arranged for the drop to the home. What's so wrong with that? Yeah, but she, she should be falling up on her. Don't just leave it there for weeks and weeks. And not check. But obviously, you don't think some correspondence was, was made when, when she was offered the job of following up with the, with the caretaker and following well, up with the home? She should have done, like she said. Be- because be- because before she left. from what I understood in, in following up, she got some red flags, so she had to return home to make sure everything was copacetic. Yeah, but why did she before she but left? But I'm just saying, if you're going to call it full hundred and you say she abandoned her, call it full hundred, be objective. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that if she left the gold of Ireland, she should drop it herself. And call people every day or we check on her. Ex- ex- excuse me. But she didn't do that. If she made arrangements for family members to drop no, them off on, on an she uncle. She could do that herself. She okay, so right. because because she did that herself now, because she didn't drop her off, you feel like it was totally neglect and she deserved all of this. Garbage. Bye. See you later. Stop defending foolishness. You found me the Mervier. Because you're reaching on that one. You're reaching. You're reaching. Talking heads. Talking heads. Breaking news. Breaking news you know, oh, Jesus. Like, now you're getting like you know, Sparky you know, two and three times the show. They could soon come after play, you, you know. Play leaders keep me on, on, on track. Play that's the lady. I love her. That's, but guess what? Breaking news. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's Silver Fox. Only one pearly around here. I don't know what foolishness her and pearly got going on a Thursday, but that's Silver Fox, period. That's it. Well, we, we, could, we, could, we could get someone to investigate that. But listen. It's my show. It always could be one pearly and one Silver Fox. That's how I go in one GNN. Anyway, let's go. Exactly. See, listen, that's why I say behemoths, when we get these doors, we need to step back, take two steps back. You understand? Yeah. I told, I, like I was trying to tell you all, and pretty yell them, I ain't getting no brief for the, for the, for the, for the, for the caretaker, because it's obvious she did something on the ward. Use I my boy, but, but there's a little lean there, GNN, when you talk. Little lean. No, little no, lean, ain't no little lean. Because I lean. say I can give the, the, the family member, I can discredit her too for the, the sequence of events. Now, what I understand, I on the ground in Freeport. I got family there and friends and everybody. Me too. What I understand, Me too. What I understand in Freeport is the oldest sister has now safest with the original documents for the house. Well, regardless, what I told you when you called earlier, I don't care. Once family get it and not a, a little happy. Yeah, but then you see, yeah, but what? Me, too, was saying, that's my house. But then they fight that amongst the family. You go to the court. You go to you go to to, 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 to get the uh, estate Naughty, taken care of. That's the reason why the family member, that particular family member, no, he had no paperwork. No, GNN. The sister got it. Regardless, family is family. They work it out to themselves. 
no stinking, dirty, well, I agree, manipulating, Tony. underhanded, alleged, teeth and caregiver. Tony, I agree. Should get Jail. a blight. Jail, woman. That's Jail. why I got a problem with quiet titling and all the, all the stinking quiet titlers who did the foolishness they yes, did over yes. the years. Because yes, they but underhanded. Don't but don't come like you with no, 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 night and shining. I'm a family member when you did your two, your five cent in there too. That's all I said. Bye, thanks hey, GNN, we agree to disagree on this one, but I think Murphy trying to swing the whole scenario, boy. And I know how GNN go. GNN should have been a lawyer. He, boy, he could, boy, GNN, be GNN could defend now. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, naughty, good show. People leaving their elderly in the hospitals is not new. This has been happening for years and years. I worked in the hospitals for 42 years and have been retired for years, so you know I know. They don't care about the elderly and the disabled in this country. I'm happy you care about both as long as we as a nation don't. Naughty, she also said that she had others attending to mama in the house and that didn't work out. Then she sent it to the home. She didn't neglect her Grammy. GNN talking fool. Okay. (laughs) She was trying to do an Anna Nicole and it backfired. Naughty, they need to bring back the cane for Mervy. Mervy tried a swing job and Mervy need the cane. Nah, I know about that. You ain't gonna break out the can for that, but. Naughty, a second part is coming on tonight. You will know exactly who's lying. She said she called other relatives because the elderly lady didn't want to talk to the young lady. And how do we know that's true? That's all hearsay. It don't look good for Murphy right now. It really don't. And obviously, you know, people are Philly. You know, there's two sides and everything. And we know we as a people, we defend fool when we ready. We defend wrong strongly. Because of who we know or what we know or what we think we can get out the deal. At the end of the day, we neglect the young and the elderly in this country way too much. And it's an absolute disgrace how you leave elderly to die in the hospitals and neglect it. All right? One day you can get old too. And you should be lucky enough somebody love you enough to want to take care of you and not shove you out. But that's another show for another day. Quick break. Flip side of the break. We'll be getting into Cuban Willie's numerology report brought to you by the Island Game. Get into the news and we'll get into the 5 o'clock and we talk in sports. Sports and only sports in the 5 o'clock. Clint will be in the building. Pearlie will be in the building. Eric will be in the building. And we'll be cutting it up. So keep it right where you got it. Take a juicy bite out of life with the new KFC Bacon Ranch Sandwich. From its 100% premium 120 gram white meat filet, KFC Signature Ranch Sauce, and fresh lettuce, to its cheddar cheese and smoky bacon stacked on a toasted brioche bun, you'll love this ultimate sandwich experience. Yes, the fried chicken experts have done it again. The KFC Bacon Ranch Sandwich is available in original recipe or spicy, but only available for a limited time at your favorite KFC. The new KFC Bacon Ranch Sandwich is here, and it's finger licking good. For fast, reliable, and impactful printing services, look no further. Let Printmasters bring your masterpiece to life. We stand by our quality products that is second to none. Our affordable pricing and friendly, efficient staff makes Printmasters the ultimate choice for all your printing needs. We can deliver any type of printing services, from banners to booklets to business cards. You name it, we can print it. Let Printmasters bring your masterpiece to life. Located in the Nassau Guardian Building, telephone 302-2361. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Feeling lucky? Here's Cuban Willie's numerology report. Brought to you by the Island Game. Wepa, soy yo, Cuban Willie, and it's Friday. It's the weekend, baby. Party time. I got the free ball and the four ball special for you today. The double whammy slammy. The 195. 195. The 195. Your three ball and the cuatro pelotas. 5322 5322 5322 Play them and win with the Island Games. Stay winning, my friends. Play with Island Games. We making dreams come true. Play with Island Games. We paying more out to you. Don't mind the noise in the market. You getting cash in your pocket. Cause Island Games is spicy and spicy is tradition. So when you play the Bahamian's voice, guaranteed to pay. We like them other jokers, we've been here from the start, from the bike to computer, 
Island Games. We can make your dream come true. We playing with Island Games. The Grand Bahama News is available every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. You can buy your local paper at Freeport Convenience Stores, Western Bakery, DeGregory's Fine Foods, and Bellevue Gifts. Now is the time to reach your Grand Bahama market with affordable packages, including print and digital. Call GB News Sales Representative Kavandre at 822-6717 or message him on WhatsApp for ad rates. Classified ads are now available every Tuesday as well. Keep up with everything Grand Bahamian every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. Refined style with elegant taste The fine threads is your place If you want those slots hemmed or just taking the waist The fine threads is your place If you want to look suave and never near everywhere you go Like you're supposed to be in a video Wanna step out and look great The fine threads fine style with elegant taste The fine threads is your place Is your place Is your place Cancer Treatment Centers of America is now City of Hope, creating one of the leading cancer care and research networks from coast to coast, providing more of what you need. More locations means more care closer to home. More specialists means more expertise. More research means more breakthroughs. More advancements means more treatment options. And more options means more hope. Learn more at CancerCenter.com. You're listening to Talking Heads with Naughty. Only on Guardian Radio. 96.9 FM. Talking Heads with Naughty is brought to you by the Six Caribbean Baseball Cup, Burger King, the Cancer Treatment Centers of America, the Central Bank of the Bahamas, the Cleveland Clinic, ESC Distributors Limited, Fine Threads, Grand Bahama News, John's Department Store, Jokers Wild, KFC, the Ministry of Public Service, Naughty Johnny's, Percy's Island Games, Prince Masters, and Tropical Gyros. Where I got you on the Friday, October 25th edition of Talking Heads. Your boy, Naughty and your company, right up until 6 p.m. And uh, we got Pearl in the studio, and we got Clint, uh, Pearlie and, and Clint zoomed in, correct? Right, here. right in this corner, What's man. up, guys? Right What's going corner. on? Just allow me. Three hours. Allow me. Three hours of allow me one second. Just just relax, man. I never seen somebody hard up a cut skin <laughs> in my life. Boy, because look here. Look here. In three hours, it starts, but in six, if it don't go the right way, all we hear from Pearlie is, the customer that you've tried to reach has either turned off their cell phone or is out of range. Please two try words, again Naughty. later. Two words. Two words. All right. Just two words. But indulge me, fellas. You know something that is very near and dear to my heart, and I just need to get this out of the way real quick. Disabled parking. We have another violator, and Pearly and Clint, guess who violated again this time? Don't say it. Don't say it. I'm the Royal that. Bahamas Police Force. Again. Wow. Out there at the uh, Old Fort Shopping Plaza, home of Naughty Johnny's, home of Energy, two of my favorite spots. You know what I mean? Home of Fresh Market with me and the wife shop. We love it. Big and bold, front parking lot in front of Fresh Market. Parking lot empty now. Empty. Spaces on either side that are not handicapped. We have police vehicle. It's the truck, the Frontier. A Y nine zero four four. A Y nine zero four four. And why I'm doing this with you, Pearlie, and Clint on the phone? You know the allegations in the room is swirling, revolving around our Royal Bahamas Police Force. If anything should go down with the naughty one over the weekend, remember I called into task police truck A Y nine zero four four on the license for parking. In the disabled parking shame. spot. Shame. All right? Shame. But no, Pearly was shame. shame. As you know how your boy go. We we, we had a couple of people, police and a couple of M- and an MP brought to task. And you know, when I put it out there, you know, it gets around. I actually have some, some denied oxygen in the womb minions trying to defend such stupidity. So I and think that that could only be a squatty. How can you defend a law enforcement officer who's supposed to be... Protecting us, who's supposed to be following the law, breaking Correct. the law. How do you defend that? And they're violating the rights of the disabled parkers and the disabled drivers. And I called not one, not two, but three high-ranking officers, sent them the pictures, and you know what they told me? Naughty in certain cases, like 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 I guess the people were trying to respond to me, possibly, or I, I would say that they're officers the way they responded. 
if there's an emergency, I get it. You, you got a, a robbery, a fire, and you need emergency vehicles there. Yeah, make way, clear the front, let everybody go where they need to go. But when it's nobody in the parking lot, and it's just a regular day, and ain't nothing going on, park elsewhere. And they agreed. And they basically broke it down to me. They're not supposed to park in those spots unless it's an absolute dire emergency. Discretion. It's like when they use their lights going through traffic. It's their discretion. Because if they still buck up doing food, guess who can get sued? Royal Bahamas Police Force. And the driver got to pay for the damages. Correct. So I, so I, I would say that a lot of Bahamians, and especially some of them bad apples on the Royal Bahamas Police Force, need to learn this word. Discretion. Use your discretion. And good discretion. And I will not ease up from championing the cause of the disabled drivers. I will not ease up on defending the elderly. And I will not ease up on defending the young. And I will not stop lobbying for oil drill. No oil drilling in this country. In case some of you all forgot about that too. Then yeah. So there's certain things I can lobby for. Like a proper legalization and decriminalization marijuana bill as well too. And my pet be fix the potholes. Jesus, we was about to talk about that, but we couldn't. But last night, Pearly, you know by me, right? They got a crater by me. I let the dogs out last night by 11.45. Letting the open? dogs back in. I, I, I back to the road now. Opening the door to go in. Dogs in front of me. I walk in and now. Somebody car hit that hole. And I swear you, the car say, Help me, Jesus, I'm dead now. And when I look back, his piston and his gearbox was in the road. Right. Oh, my goodness. So we need to fix the potholes. They're everywhere. Now, sorry yeah. that, that I digressed on that to begin with, but we had a hot show, and Mervy occupied the whole first hour. You know what I mean? <laughs> Out of Grand Bahama, Mervy, Mervy the house sitter, Mervy the caretaker, Mervy the home taker. You know what I mean, Pearly? So that kind of took up the first hour, but I did want to get to this. And, and, and I'm amazed that so Wrong. We are far too long in this country just allowed wrong to go by. You're not used to people calling wrong where wrong is. We'll get used to the naughty one. I have no problem calling wrong where wrong is. Now, with that being said, speaking of wrong, did you all see that football game last night? Oh, oh my goodness. Now, you know where I'm going to in the first play of this, uh, 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 this face show. Mask. Face mask, face yes mask. or no, Clint, Pearly, face mask, yes or no, guys? Face wow. mask. That was a face mask penalty. They missed it. They admitted after the game they missed the call. Well, the, the NFL actually called the officials in and had a meeting with them. And all of them were saying the exact same thing, that, you know, there was players in between them and the play, and they did not see it that way, or the back was turned to them. That, this is why, this is why I feel like in baseball, you have your reviews where you get the call up from upstairs for a review, but a, um, but a, um, but a manager could actually say, hey, I need you to review that, that third call strike right there. And they got to go and they got to review they it. The inst- don't they have the instant replay thing that calls down to them if they miss a call? Correct. They have that in the NFL? But it's only on certain calls in the NFL. There's certain things you can't overturn, like a face mask and a couple other penalties that are weird. And then yeah, when I people say the, the league is scripted and, and all of that, that people wonder why. But that there was, was a bad weird. call. That was too obvious. They missed that. That was too obvious. That they was yeah. right around. That was a horrible call. It changed the whole. Thing. It gives up a safety to the Rams. Now they're up by ten and not by eight. I, I don't know if Donald if Don if Donald gets that fifteen yard penalty. There's still a minute something left in that game. You never know yeah. with Justin Jefferson and Addison what he could do going down the field. You never know. Yeah, that was that was horrible. I, I still can't believe that. Uh, and there was a judge. A judge. A, uh, well, maybe it was a line judge. Well, right at the back of the end zone. There was nobody in his view. Hey, he I saw that. His I head got that. on right to him. Like, how do you not see that? Oh, she, it was a shoulder pad. No, <laughs> but, but a couple of weeks ago, there was a running back that had, on, on a national game, too, that had a blatant face mask and nobody called it. And that cost them the game as well, too. Yeah, but they should, they should be able to challenge it. Like, why not? What can they lose? Just make them lose a challenge. You really want to challenge that? Go ahead. But as if it's gonna day, if it's end, gonna protect the integrity of the game, then they should. Of course, and it's, and just exactly. how they do it in the last two minutes, do the same thing for penalties. Like, don't make a good game be 
not a good game, for lack of better words, because this official missed it. Or all these officials missed it. And that, that was a really good game up until the third quarter, and then it became a crap shoot in the fourth quarter. It was just horrible. Yeah, it was. It was. I did not, Pearly, I'll apologize to you. <laughs> I did not expect Puka to come out there how he did. Oh, excuse that me. Dude, That's another up. thing that I want to I oh, wanna, yeah. I I wanna raise. Too. And I have a problem with McVeigh because he's always done this. And there are other coaches that, that do it under the point, uh, and they, under the guise of gamesmanship. I'm not going to tell you who's injured unless I don't have to. Yeah, the rumors for the week where Cooper Cup was coming out. Nowhere did they say Puka Nakua was going to play. Then all of a sudden it became a game time decision, and here he is. What? No game time decision. I did read an article that said he was going to play. They didn't know how much how much minutes he would get. Probably, if I would have saw that, minutes. it would have made a difference. All right, I heard game time decision for the last eight six weeks. He's been game time decision and, and engine. I thought they yeah, would they, they would have dropped the same pomp and circumstance they did with Cup. No, they didn't. And they did it yeah, well. It worked to their advantage. And had I known both of them were playing, I might have picked. I might have picked the Rams at home. Had I known Cup and and and, and Nakua were in the starting lineup. Yeah, but Nakua, they 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 gave the impression that Nakua was in hundred percent fit. He would only play a few plays, and that cost me. That cost me twelve points or fourteen points. And that could yeah. be the difference in the game right there. Let's get to the phone lines real quick. Talking heads. A pleasant good afternoon, Mister Naughty. Hey, Sparky, what's going on? Boy, it's hard to get through to you. Down now, there, if point. I tell you we talking sports and be quick, you can get mad. But I got to tell you, we talking sports, be quick. Let's I, gave go. Him a blah, I gave him a blah yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard you tell me. You talk talking about heads is the only show that is blah Sparky. So Sparky got to be nice to us. Yeah, I'm trying to be nice and you can let me talk. We're going to get to and tell me I got 33 seconds. Well, go ahead. You got 40 now. Go. <laughs> I was just saying it's so difficult to get. To you now, you're so popular, you can't get to you in the first hour. So sometimes I, I, I sneak in on the, on the second hour and try to tell you hour. All right, Sparks, what you, you know, got? Are you were talking about the policeman truck in the parking lot. Mm-hmm. You the, hey, man, they move it up from that. They parked the policeman motorbike in the handicap spot. Uh, no, I pulled up to Kenny Saturday. The motorbike in the handicap spot and the next spot right to the handicap spot is the open spot. But he parked the motorbike in the handicap spot and gone inside Kelly. Now that's a release, but now you know if you say anything to him, he can book you, but they make it. Or he can look you and your family up and try to charge them with something. The other day I was parked on, on the stoplight. Had the policeman on the side of me. On the side of us, I say, I can't drive right now because of my legs. And he turned on the siren, naughty, just to go across the light, okay? Turn on the siren to go across the red light. Then he reached the other side of the red light. He turned the siren off. I said, they're really in the public in the middle of the day. Maybe that was a short chase suspect across the light. No, no, no. Then he reached across there. He just gone ahead driving with the traffic with was moving, he turned the siren off, so he really just turned the siren on to go across the light. He just didn't want to wait on the light. They, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of abuses they, of power with, with, the, with the police so force. Blatant. But anyway, you know, I was trying to call you to let you know that, you know, um, nowadays, you know, you get a little older stuff and you got to go and exercise. But I, I was just going to pump up something where St. Joseph, them have a old and gold either like. I don't have... A, a wheelchair. I have one. One of them special walkers, which you got a seat and you can you can hold on it and roll it. Yeah, it. I seen you on that. It allows you to drink and drive. I seen you in rare form no, on that scooter to breeze it. Like the, the thing in the back trunk, but you can walk around in the middle of a hotel with a six pack in your damn car. There you go. Push. So behave yourself in St. Francis tonight, Sparky. You ain't even no stories, but I got to see if I can dance with the walker. You know what I'm saying. I got a big Sheila Glitter, and Sheila Kalma. She's coming to walk us, walking stick, and I got the walker. And, so and between, the, between, the, between like the two of y'all, y'all have two. Right. Y'all got nine legs between y'all, man. Y'all got plenty room to dance and have fun out there. A walker and a can, that's an extra five legs to go with your four. You got nine. Party on, Sparky. All right. Let's get to our first break, Mr. Producer. On the flip side of the break, we'll be talking NFL. Got a bevy of games coming up this weekend. We'll start with, uh, you know, all of them. You're going to get go blow by blow. 
Now we'll get down into the picks. We'll talk some NFL. We'll talk some fantasy. And then we'll get up into the games. I, I know this weekend in fantasy, you better hit that wave of wire. This might be the last week you could get anybody. It, it, it looks like the buzzards and the vultures have come out and picked wave of wires. There's nothing left. Hey. Dodger Blue. Dodger Blue. You want to talk Dodger Blue? <laughs> and we can talk We can talk Yankees Dodgers. So when Earl take cuts in this first game, we can know why he come on the air bitter and brutal and salty on Monday. Let's get to the break. Uh, Earl, you're becoming that guy. You're well, becoming that guy, old, Earl. Old, you're too becoming old, that guy, Earl. You're becoming that guy. Next week this time, I will be that guy. You will be that guy crying in here because I'll be shining up number 28 and reminding you how many more you gots to go to even get in our neighborhood. Let's go to the break. These runaway Dodgers. Don't forget, we used to own them in Brooklyn, eh? That's why they run to L.A. Because couldn't take no more cut skin in New York. See, so probably don't want any of it. Let's go to the break. John's Shoes and Accessories is your one-stop shop for all your footwear needs. You will find what you're looking for among the growing collection of classic and trendy styles with new arrivals every week. John's covers the whole family and has great prices, helpful and friendly customer service. Your experience shopping with us will be time well spent. Shop with us online at www.johnshoes.com. John's also now carries small home appliances. So come on into John's located on Rosetta Street in Palmdale and Carmichael Road West. John's, we put fashion at your feet. Cancer Treatment Centers of now City of Hope, creating one of the leading cancer care and research networks from coast to coast, providing more of what you need. More locations means more care closer to home. More specialists means more expertise. More research means more breakthroughs. More advancements means more treatment options. And more options means more hope. Learn more at cancercenter.com. Get ready for an exciting October with National Public Service Week. Join us for a fun-filled week of the community spirit and celebration. Kicking things off October 17th, the Family Feud Night at Anna Hall Rogers High School at 6 p.m. Bring your family and compete for some fantastic prizes. Then you don't want to miss the Golden Oldies and Old School Dance Friday, October 25th, 8 p.m. Happening at the Ministry of Public Service and Ministry of Health Veranda and Lower Terrace. Let's groove to the classics. Ready for some friendly competition? Join us for the Softball Jamboree on Saturday, October 26th and Saturday, November 2nd, starting at 9 a.m. at the Blue Hills Sporting Complex. On Sunday, October 27th, join us for a meaningful church service at Bahamas Harvest JFK, 11 a.m. And then, of course, we're going to honor our retirees Monday, October 28th at 10 a.m. for the retirees recognition ceremony and reception at Government House. Curious about your future? You don't want to miss the career fair on Tuesday the 29th and Wednesday the 30th at the Kendall GL Isaacs Gymnasium. Ah, boy, we can't forget the float parade. November 1st, departing at 9 a.m. from Arawaki. Show your colors and celebrate with us. This is National Public Service Week 2024. You're listening to Talking Heads with Naughty. Only on Guardian Radio. 96.9 FM. on the Friday, October 25th edition of Talking Heads. Your boy Naughty along with Earl the Pearl along with Clint in the building right up until 6 p.m. All right, let's get this out of the way. Pearly, in a few short hours, your Dodgers take on my Yankees in the World Series again. Two of the, 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 two of the most storied franchises in the history of baseball. Two legendary franchises with a legendary rivalry. Last time they met up was in 1981. Dodgers took care of that one. Prior to that, we know. Led by, led by Fernando Valenzuela. The late, great so. Fernando Valenzuela. 
And yeah. of course, prior to that, we know the dominance of the Yankees. Uh, you know, exhibited over the Dodgers in in LA and in in, in, in the Brooklyn. Fifties and sixties. It doesn't yeah. matter if you dated Holly Berry as a freshman in high school, or you dated her ten minutes ago. You dated Holly Berry, and you're a winner. And you're a winner. And you're a winner. Have you done for me lately? And you know what? If Janet showed up ne- right to you, right next to you right now, you wouldn't say not a damn thing. But lately, the day or the way, it'd be like, "Hey, Janet, what's up? Let me see your rhythm nation." That's what you'd yeah. say, Pearly. Okay? So. Okay? So so don't go there. Now, we got Eric chiming in, too. So Eric's on the phone line. Eric, who you pull for in baseball? I pull... Hey, my heart is with the Yankees from, 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 from as a little boy. I knew there was a saving grace about you, you know. <laughs> what about you, uh, Clint? Who you pulling for? Who am I pulling for in this? Uh, I got to go with the Bahamian. I got to go with the Yanks. <laughs> Pearly, you're out number three to one. Okay, just so you know, you are the lone pot cake. You are the lone pot cake this week. You know I like that. Now, who do how do y'all see uh, this series going? Eric, let's start with you. Uh, boy, boy, I see a good a good Broadway finish. The Yankees in seven. They just have better pitching. I mean, the Dodgers have a better, I guess, all around team. But boy, pitching can win a World Series. Not. Not necessarily all the time, you know. Sometimes, sometimes good offense can be good pitching, but not in this instance. The Dodgers have no bullpen. But the Yankees ain't got no bullpen either. You, you're talking about the Yankees, eh? You're talking about the Yankees ain't got no bullpen, eh? The Yankees ah. have very good starting pitching, but they have no bullpen. The Dodgers got a lot of injuries in the starting lineup, so they have a limited starting pitching, but they got one of the best bullpens in baseball, if not the best in baseball. Uh... Uh, I mean, I mean that's a that's a toss up, you know. In my, in my don't lie. all numbers I'm saying is lie. numbers don't lie. In 300 million performance outperforming 700 million in a- real dog, real dog. I mean, Otani, 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 He's getting two million. Pearly, what really was the value year. for the? What was the value for that contract? He don't get all he get in his pocket is two million a year. He don't get no more money. And when he's sixty-eight, he could be yeah. And when he's old and ancient like Barry Bonds, he could be collecting every year after that. So it but is what it is. It now, which which that's also that's gives the Dodgers more money, money to spend. Pearly, Pearly, when you talk like this, you should never, ever, ever fix your mouth to ever say I spin. Number one, and number two, I strongly suggest. Even though it might be a little late in life, a career in politics. I will run your campaign. You keep that up, you'll win. We will run blind side. There's a certain white knight like to call me spin doctor. Listen to me. It's like the Holly Berry theory. If you get 700 million, if you get 2 million now and 688 million when you're 64, you still got 700 million. But the now. bottom line is on the books, it frees up some money for the Dodgers to offer Juan Soto big money next year. Get that. That's, and that's and Juan, right Juan ain't going to dawn step. Juan Soto will not be a Yankee Reason. next year. I'm pretty Juan, sure that. Juan Soto will be right in New York next year. Well, maybe in New York, but not in the not And not, not in the, the Mets, Bronx. because, listen to me, I'm Hank Steinbrenner already made the call to Cashman. Say, break out the checkbook now. Let's go. Impossible. He ain't going nowhere. Anyway. People see. texting me right now, telling me, say, Dodgers in six, blah, 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 blah. That's, listen, we got, listen, you'll find that the, the, the baseball breeds strange bedfellows, brother. You will find, not, like, like a 49er right. and a cowboy agreeing on the Yankees. And now you'll find, like, a dolphin and a bill agreeing on the Dodgers. Three. The Yankees will go as far as Soto, Judd, and they, then San, San, Stanton goes. If, if and three, the ultra and disrespect three, of not including Josh Chisholm in that. All right, Birdie, that's where you mess yourself up. Three bats go dead. The Yankees in problems. But the difference is the Dodgers' bottom lineup has carried them and the top lineup has carried them. We have a, and I'm not bragging. It's just it's the facts that have happened all season, and t- including in the playoffs. We don't beat the one team that probably could beat us. And we can come to beat the, the rest of gravy right now. Pearly, every time you get like this, it ends bad for you and your Dodgers. That's all I'm going to say. Time will tell. With that being said, good luck, my brother. To you too, my brother. Expect a lot of crap talk between now and the series being over. Oh, yeah. Hurtful, salty, below the belt, cut you at the ankle. Lasorda is a penguin, Wally Walrus looking SOB. Yeah, that kind of stuff coming. Uh, But I want (laughs) to tell our listeners this because a couple of people called me fussing me. How can I not pull for the behemoth? I've been a Dodger since 1972. 
I am a 52-year Dodger fan. I'm not going to change. If the Padres had somehow beat the Dodgers or the Mets had beat the Dodgers, I would have been right there pulling for Jazz and the Yankees in this world. And for here. everybody who texted it in. I am a Dodger. I pulled for what's the name in the front of the shirt. Right. That's and for, for, the for everybody who texted in and checked Pearly on that, relax. My Yankees and my Bahamian brother, Jazz Chisholm, we doing it for yep. Frankie the Yankee, the late great Frankie Simmons. We win a nest. And then we win and it. And every time Jazz, every time Jazz come up the bat, as long as nobody on base, I pull in for him to get a hit. At the end, I can tell Jazz, I can tell I can tell Jazz exactly. I can I can tell him when I see him. I can, I can tell him. <laughs> Man, I say, don't mind Pearly, you don't blink here and you are, but everything cool. And he yeah, he's a dodger, but he's a dodger rubbing in. You know that. You know Rub that. it in. He knows that. I was trying to get Lucius to give me his Dodger gear when he went to the Giants, but you know. That's right. That's right. He was there for a hot minute, too. No, they, they never know. They, they never signed him. They offered him a 3.5 3. A, a 3. million signing bonus, in the, and the Giants doubled it, and he went to the Giants. Yeah, he went to the Giants. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we got to get into football, guys. Pearly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, outnumbered. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But I, I wanted to go seven, and I wanted to be excited. I, I don't want it to be a sweep either way. This has been a long time coming. This deserves seven good, exciting games. It, it actually does. But, you know, I'll just take whatever I get as the win. But it, it should be great to see this old rivalry. Well, take take the three that, three that you're going to win and enjoy them, it. and we'll take all four, and, and we'll do it, you know, after it's all said and done. We'll have our moment. But in the words of Chris Berman, that is why we play the game. Let's see what happens. There you go. All right. Let's look at this. Uh, we got about 10 minutes to do the games, guys. So okay. we're going to jump on in with these, with these NFL games. And last night, again, like I said, last night was kind of weird. I still think Minnesota was, I, I will say, they weren't given the full, proper one minute and 16 that they had left. I don't, I don't think Sam Donald was going to win the game, but. You might have made it exciting. You know, exactly, like, you know, and, and it's still an eight-point game, then it's no longer a ten-point game because the two points you get for, for the safety that was caught on right. a clear face mask. Right, right. All right, here we go. Week eight of the NFL, and, and we got uh, the Thursday night game. A, a, pretty much everybody was leaning toward Minnesota. A little shocker there with uh, the Rams winning that one. But uh, let's move to the games on the weekend. Start off with the one o'clock games. <laughs> We got the Cardinals and the Dolphins. I'm I'm keeping it simple. Tua returns for Miami. The Dolphins win. Yeah, well, I I disagree there. I think Tua is going to be playing a little scared there. I mean, he's, he's one hit away from everybody telling him that's it. Even the NFL could say that that's enough. That's enough. So. I think he, you know, he's he hasn't been on the field for a while. I think Arizona is going to Arizona's right horrible in in one o'clock games on the East Coast, though. Miami's horrible at any time. Uh-huh. You know, Clint, Clint, Clint. You know, I have you as a brother, right? Please don't go that far, man. I mean, be nice to me, man. The return of okay. two, I think, okay, gets fine. it done. They were, they were good in '72. All right, I'll give you that. <laughs> that is true, Clint. That is true. You can't eat. I see no lie there, buddy. You all were good in '72. Yo, perfect. I'm going to stick with my heart, and I'm going with the do- the do- the, do- uh, the Dolphins. And, and, and who you got this one there, uh, Eric? No, but I got the Cardinals, man. They 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 right now. I, I, they got to win a one o'clock game on the East Coast for them to impress me. They haven't done that in years. James Conner's going to run all over them. No, that secondary suspect has got injuries in Arizona, and you got two or three on the board. He can hit Waddle, and he can hit Tyreek Hill. Miami's defense has not been the problem at all, you know. It's and Miami's good against the run, too, to be honest with you. All right. We got uh, go ahead. the Colts and the Texans. Colts 4-3, and three, Texans 5-2. and two. Big uh, AFC South matchup. I-, I can't go against the Texans. I mean, D'Amico Ryan's got the defense playing. They're scoring points now. They're 5-2. and two. They got a mic- healthy Joe Mixon back to-, to balance out the running game and offense. Nico Collins is coming along in about a week or two. I like the Texans. And Pitt, Pittman and uh, Jonathan Taylor are both set to play as well. But I just yeah, don't yeah. see Anthony Richardson. He doesn't look like well, the same guy. Take, take the, the, take the over of 45. If Pittman and Taylor are going to play, it's going to go over 45. But Texans still going to win. I just don't like Pitt. I mean, um, Richardson had just, it just does not seem like the same guy he was at the first four games last year. Or whatever. Sophomore I mean, slump going on right there. Yep, yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, but I he think, did, he did have a decent. He did have a decent second half against the Dolphins. Um, I I think with Jonathan Taylor back, I just I haven't bought into Houston just yet. 
I think that I think the Colts will, will upset them in this one. All right. Who do you like, Eric? Colts or the Texans? Texans, buddy. All, All right. Them. We got the Eagles on the road in the one o'clock game against the Cincinnati Bengals. Eagles four and two, Bengals three and four. That's an ugly game. Uh, I mean, I hate to say it, but I think the Eagles are are going to win this one. They're they're going to keep on rolling. They're healthy, and they're scared of Washington. Yeah, so I think they're going to get they're going to fight and battle this one. I think the Eagles take this one as well. It's a lone pot cake on this, but you know, pulling the page out of my boy Clint's book, Cincinnati is doing what Cincinnati does. Cincinnati <laughs> is three and four. Cincinnati's won three in a row. Jamar Chase is healthy. T Higgins is healthy. They got a two headed monster running back. And the defense of the Bengals is very good against the run. And Joe Burrow loves to play spoiler. And Joe Burrow has got a mismatch in that secondary that he's going to exploit with, um, with Jamar Chase. And I like the Bengals at home to get it done 27-24 over the Eagles. And remember, you all taking into consideration, yes, you got some players back for Philadelphia. I agree that that makes them better. But if you all looked at their head coach, Nick Sirianni, have you seen the picture when he took the job it was on day one? He looked like a Boy Scout. And now today, you know what he looks like? A cast member from Breaking Bad. Well, that's the same thing you could say about McDaniels. Yeah. 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 He went from a Boy Scout to Tony Montana. And let me tell you, between McVeigh and, and Pearlie's coach in Miami, the two of them look like they came straight off South Beach from an episode of, of Miami Vice. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I mean, people are calling him the calling them the future. The Dolphins, the greatest coach. All of a sudden, everybody wants his head. That's why they're going to win this weekend. There you go. All right. So uh, I'm the lone, I'm the lone pod cake with the Bengals, the Falcons, and the Buccaneers. Timpa, Godwin, yeah. and Evans. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think a week a week out to plan on Monday night on a short week. I think it's a little too much for Tampa Bay to, to deal with. I think in the long term they may Man. be all right because they get Evans back, even though Goodwin's gone. They still got a running game, a three-headed monster that they could dink and dunk. But I just think the Falcons coming in, more healthy, better team, get it done. Buccaneers just a little bit snake bit after all those injuries in that game on yeah, Monday night. Yeah, they need a week. I'll take the Falcons under points. Falcons by two and a half. Yeah, that's doable. All right, yeah. so I think we're all unanimous with the Falcons. The Jets and the Patriots. J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. Who you got, Eric? J E T S Jets Jets Jets. Who you got, Pearly? I hate to say this, he but I'll go, with stinking, I'll go with the stinking lousy Jets this week. I had to flip the coin, and I flipped the coin, and it came up Jets. So it's unanimous. Everybody going with the Jets over the Patriots. Packers and the Jaguars. Packers on the road against the Jaguars. Packers are just the better team to me on paper. Offense, defense, special teams. Romeo Dubs is emerging, uh, you know, with, with love. Uh, we can in that chemistry. The running game is strong. The defense is good enough to, to, keep the, uh, to keep the Packers competitive. I like them to go on the road and beat the Jaguars. I'm actually yeah. going to start love over two of this weekend, so I, I like the Packers. Yeah, the Packers' defense has been for real this year. The Jaguars' yeah. defense has been nowhere to be found. Uh, and Reed Green Bay is going to destroy them. Yeah, uh, I Jordan think Love, Love is going to be a lot of points. Tight games this season. Good experience so far this year. Good, good test. So, yeah, Parker. All right, the next two games should be really quick, fellas. Ravens and the Browns. I like the Ravens in this one on the Ravens. road. Ravens. That's my Super Bowl hand. team for the NFC. I like the Ravens. Before. He ain't going to be here on Sunday. All right, unanimous with the Ravens over the Browns. You got the Titans on the road against the Lions. I think this one's going to be unanimous. Lions over the Titans. Yeah. yeah, that's my Super Bowl pick, the Lions. So... Going I'm, riding McClin- I'm riding McClin on that one, too. So, yep. All right. You got yep. the Bills and the Seahawks. I like the Bills on the road getting this done. They got some injuries in Seattle and DK Metcalf a little banged up. I- mm-hmm. I'm going to roll with the Bills. No, DK Metcalf's not going to play. He's going to be out. But you still right. have Njigba and, and um, Tyler Lockett's uh, injured, too. And then you have Kenneth Walker, who's playing like crazy. But I still I just don't see them beating the Bills. Who you got there? I haven't, bought, I haven't bought into the Bills yet. I just don't think they've gotten over that hump yet. I think Seattle at home, the 12th man will be an issue. I think Seattle. Mm. Amari Kubo. Amari Kubo can beat the 12th man himself. Boom. Okay. Pearly, the lone pot cake on this one with the Seahawks. I, I, I'll ride that by myself. The Saints and the Chargers, everybody and they ma is injured for the Saints. I yep. got to roll with the Chargers at home simply because they're at home and they're less injured. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
Bears and the Commanders on on Sunday afternoon. I'm going to go such with a shame. Sorry, so is this, I was going to say it's such a shame that Daniels may not play because everyone wanted to see Williams and Daniels. Yep, go at it. that was going to be a heck of a matchup. Practice today? I think Daniels practiced today, though. Yeah, he did <laughs> practice today, but it's going to be a game time, is what I'm hearing. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, and it was the media didn't really see what he was doing, so. All right. Well, if Daniels doesn't play the Bears, I'm gonna roll over the. I'm gonna take the Bears because they have to run, and the Bears got three headed monster running back that they're gonna run the football with if they need to, and open if up Daniels, the passing game. I, I like the Bears over the Commanders. If Daniels I'm, plays, then they they have to shield him. They got to run screen, bootlegs, and whatnot to keep his ribs out of out of harm. If he plays, they got a better chance. I go over the Commanders mm-hmm. if he plays. I'm going with the Commanders regardless. Mariota did not look bad. And the team is healthy and strong. Like they're good, all around, in my opinion. So, nah, they're not gonna yeah. fourth place schedule if you ask me. When the feed leave them, the breeding can take over. Yeah, I think Mariota's gonna play well. He, he wants to get a starting gig somewhere again. <laughs> Mariota, he can't get a starting gig even on PlayStation nowadays. Um, <laughs> Chiefs and the Raiders. I think this one is pretty much unanimous. I'm going with the Chiefs. I told you all, don't bet against Mahomes. I'm not betting against Mahomes. I'm going with the Chiefs. <laughs> No, at least not this game. Is, um, oh, I forget the defensive back name. He gave Mahomes bullet and board material. Mahomes can pick him apart at least maybe Max. six times on Sunday. So, yeah, Mahomes. You mean Max Crosby? Yep. No, no yeah. not Max Crosby. No, the defensive back. He said, we ain't scared of him. We don't respect him more than any other quarterback. He's just a regular player. He's a star. Yeah, player. really? Yeah, 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 yeah. He can get, he can get anything. So that. Panthers get on the road that. against the Broncos. I think this is unanimous, too. Uh, Andy Dalton, no go because of the car accident. So they're back to Bryce Young. I like the Broncos at home in this one. I yeah. think the Broncos are starting to put it together as a team. I like what they're doing. I think the Broncos win this. Yeah, I love that I dropped Williams uh, two weeks ago. And then he has a, a great game in, in now yeah. he's Carolina. And he's got a good schedule coming up, but... Broncos are going to win this one. All yeah, right. Broncos have won, what, four straight? Top shelf defense. Broncos all the way. We got okay. two more two more games to do. Two more games to do. All right, we got the Monday night game, Steelers and the Giants. I think that's unanimous. I think everybody likes the Steelers over the Giants yeah, in that Steelers. one. Yeah. Yeah. I think I like, I'm happy Russell is there. Some of you all didn't think Russell should be there. I think Russell's going to get look good again. He's starting to get on this, his feet under him. I like the Steelers. All yeah, right. I agree. Real quick, accelerate. I'm watching Russell on Sunday. I mean, not, 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 not Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. I'm to watch him on Sunday with those touch passes, man. The Steelers actually really look scary. Like they, yeah. They get upset some people. They look like they, yeah, they might have some potential. All right. Sunday night game. The game that me and Eric got to talk and Clint got to talk about. Story rivalry. Cowboys on the road against the 49ers. Pearly, who you like in this game? Let's get you out the way. Uh, you know what? If Debo is players, I like the 49ers. All right, Eric, who you got? Break it down for me, injury rise. What's going on with the injuries in, in, in San Francisco? If Debo plays, he's injured. Um, so that's 45% of Debo. He's got pneumonia, yeah. right? Which is kind of a, a rough stretch. I don't know anybody, you know, having pneumonia the next, but anyway. Right. right. You know, if he plays, he, he was injured before before he got sick, and then he got sick, and, and yeah, so he's, he's, he's going to play, I guess. Um, he was a little banged up, too. Is gone. Um, Jawan Jennings is a game time decision. And Kittle is banged up. Kittle banged up. Couple of old linemen banged up. CMC ain't playing. You know what? I may have to change my vote. <laughs> and you're running back. Um, you're running back too. Has got that shoulder Mason. separation. Yeah, yeah. Mason got a bust up shoulder. But hey, bang bang all day, baby. Bang bang nine a gang. Somehow, some way, we win. 14 to 13. Last second. Field Touchdown. Oh, wow. in. All right, Clint, who you got? Uh, do I have to? <laughs> yeah, you got to pick it. Uh, I, I hate to say it, and I'm just hoping it's the reverse psychology, but I think the 49ers, I just don't trust our defense. Well, you're in, you in trouble now, Eric, because I could be honest with you. Dallas has a great record coming off the bye. Dak has a great record after a loss. But I look, I look at it. As for what it is, we're a little more healthier than you guys right now. Yeah. And we should be able to exploit the middle of that field. We all got some injuries with the tight end situation. So, yeah, normally I would look at that and say, boy, I like my cowboy chances. But the last four games we played the 49ers, the 49ers have won. So at the end of the day, 
knowing this story rivalry the way I do, and I want the pendulum to swing back where it needs to be in favor of the Cowboys, I can't touch the Cowboys in this one. It's all about the 49ers. It's all about Brock Purdy. It's all about the defense. It's all about Shanahan's system. San Francisco beats the Cowboys. The San Francisco want to beat the Cowboys on Sunday night, 20 to 17. Wow, you also, you and my, no, my, pick, my pick is purely based on superstition and swinging the pendulum. So I'm picking the 49ers, and it's a win-win for me. If, if I win, if the 49ers win, I get my pick right. If they lose, my Cowboys win, and Eric not after that. You are such a jinx. Yes, I am. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm throwing the Hail Mary now. Let's go 49ers. Bang, bang, Niner gang. Hey, 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 let's not go that far. You don't got to cheer for them. You could say they're going to win. But, but I, I, I yeah, notice yeah, that. Yeah, not, yeah. Hold on, hold on, Clint. Notice I did the impersonation of bang, bang, Niner gang. I just didn't throw no too much lips <laughs> in there. That's all. Right. Go Niners. Go Niners. Go Purdy. <laughs> you see, I patterned it on thick. I want the Cowboys to win. So let's go 49ers. Make me wrong this week so my Cowboys win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And with that being said, thank you, Eric. Thank you, Clint. Thank you, Pearly. Great stuff as always. Thanks. I want you guys to enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your games. Baseball, basketball, football. The greatest talkie. We got all four on every night of the week, oh, fellas. Yeah, no dodges. It's the greatest time of the year. Let's set it off with the World yes, Series man. tonight with the Yankees win. College football tomorrow. NFL on Sunday. Y'all enjoy God, your weekend, man. Tonight, guys. There you go. We'll see ya. Right here on Talking Heads next uh, on Monday. Be good, Bahamas. And if you can't be good, be good at it. Living with a neurological condition shouldn't define you. At Cleveland Clinic in Florida, we do whatever it takes to make life better today while discovering new treatments for a brighter tomorrow. From epilepsy management to specialized spine care and brain tumor surgery, we're delivering world-class neurology care for the day-to-day, for the days you live for, for every care in the world. Visit clevelandclinicflorida.org slash Caribbean. Flavid Island Games, we making dreams come true. Flavid Island Games, we paying more out to you. Don't mind the noise in the market, you get cash in your pocket. Cause Island Games is spicy, and spicy is tradition. So when you play, play Island we put in Bahamian spice, guaranteed to play Island Games. We like them mother jokers, we've been here from the start, from the bike to computer. Island Games, we can make your dreams come true. We playing with Island Games. Take a juicy bite out of life with the new KFC Bacon Ranch Sandwich. From its meat white meat filet, KFC Signature Ranch Sauce, and fresh lettuce, to its cheddar cheese and smoky bacon stacked on a toasted brioche bun. You'll love this ultimate sandwich experience. Yes, the fried chicken experts have done it again. The KFC Bacon Ranch Sandwich is available in original recipe or spicy, but only available for a limited time at your favorite KFC. The new KFC Bacon Ranch Sandwich is here, and it's finger licking good. NASA, are you ready for November 6th? Because we are ready! <laughs> Hi, this is KB, and I will be performing live. Break and scrape explosion! Reloading! This is the one and only fan, John, letting y'all know that yours truly will be performing. Oh yeah, this is your boy d Mac, and I'll be performing live. Keep the vibe alive, music group, and Top for Sounds promotion invites you to the biggest Break and Scrape concert of the year. <laughs> and you thought they was going to leave me out? Um, hey! Saturday, November 2nd at Super Club Breezes Ground. It's me, Mike. Mama D. This is Wilfred Solomon. Yo, it's your boy Ron. It's your boy Elliot from the New Breed Band. The biggest artist of the 242. It's your boy Shine 242. Hey, it's Sherrod Taylor. It's your boy Johnny K. The Falcon Show Back. It's your buddy Jerry. Funky D. This is your girl Nishi Out Ass, aka Miss Loose Me. Hey there, this is Recon B. Hey, this is Chido D, and I will be performing live. Hey, it's me, Julian Belize. Tickets available at the Beauty Shack and BahamasEtickets.com. The countdown is on. Ray can't scrape exposure. You're listening to Talking Heads with Naughty. Only on Guardian Radio. 96.9 FM.
because we just spent quite a bit about how the Rams looked and how the Rams have a shot to win this division. And, and they're, they're, they're surging and have won two games in five days, and the Vikings have lost two games in five days. And I know a lot of Vikings fans are nervous about that once upon a time 5-0 team for the R-E-L-A-X, to use a phrase from your, your division. We'll get to that in a second. Because the Vikings had the game in their hands on Sunday against the Lions, lost it. This one, they had an opportunity late because as much as we're lionizing, to use a phrase, Cooper Cup's performance, and it was it's worthy of, of being excited about if you're a Rams fan, he got too close to the sideline last night when all he had to do is just go down and gave the Vikings a break as they were out of timeouts. And so they got the ball back with a buck 50 to go. Now, Ethan Evans showed that punters are weapons too. Because that guy hit a 41-yarder and pinned it on the five-yard line. And Sam Darnold, after an incomplete pass, because, you know, Christian Darasaw was out, going down in the final play of the first half before taking a knee, that you're wondering, you know, if, if the aggressiveness to try and get points before the half was a little bit of hubris there, and suddenly Darnold didn't have much time in the pocket in that second half. And so he had to get rid of it on first down, and then on second down and 10 from the five with time staring the Vikings in the play face, the buck 46 to go, Darnold goes back into the end zone and Byron Young sacks him, which is one way to say it. The other way to say it is that Byron Young grabbed him by the inside of the helmet. And that's a 15-yard face mask penalty that should have wiped out the safety and eventual game-ending play. Clear and obvious for everybody at home. And also, you know, it's clear and obvious to, um, to uh, uh, Byron Young. Because you could see Byron Young put his hands Oh, yeah. On his helmet, like, oh, my gosh, what did I do? I just gave them a fresh set of downs. And obviously the Vikings with that fresh set of downs, you know, would have been 15 yards out, no safety. It would have been first and 10 from about the tw from the 20-yard line. Right, they still had to go 80 They still yards. had to go 80 yards with no timeouts left, but the game right. wouldn't have been over. And again, that's the thing with penalties like this is that you invest all this time if you're a fan – and you're enjoying the game, and it is a back-and-forth affair, and it is a big game for the Vikings to go win again and like they did the first five weeks and wipe out the taste of that loss on Sunday, and they're 6-1 and one as opposed to now 5-2 and two with two losses in a row. And the Rams are now keeping Cooper Cup, and they're not 2-5. and five. They're 3-4. and four. They're feeling great. And that could have been right a Vikings loss and a Rams win based on the way things are, but we'll never know. And that's the big bummer. And um, the refs blew it. Because yeah. Trey Blake, the ref, head ref, whose job it is to look at the quarterback, and it's his job mostly to protect the quarterback. Mm -hmm. Anything to do with the quarterback, late hit, face mask, anything like that, it's his responsibility. And you could see Prime Video had so many great angles of this. T-Man was on it. And there was a shot behind Blake. So you could see he's directly looking at it. But the way that Young came around Darnold and grabbed the inside of the helmet and the most close to the inside of the helmet, piece of metal. It wasn't the front of the face mask and pull, which would have been obvious. It was the back of the helmet and the pull that I think threw Trey Blake off. And I'm not making excuses for him because there's also an umpire who had a better angle of it and he got blocked. And Trey Blake in the pool report after the game did in fact say that that the quarterback was facing the opposite direction from me, so I didn't have a good look at it. I didn't have a look, and I didn't see the face mask being pulled, obviously. There's your admission that it was a face mask. 
The umpire had players between him and the quarterback, so he didn't get a look at it. He was blocked as well. So that was the thing. We did not see it, so we couldn't call it. We couldn't see it. The pool reporter, Calvin Watkins, then wound up saying, hey, you know, was there a discussion on the field? Because the Vikings were obviously complaining about it. And Blake did discuss it because they did bring up a concern. We discussed it as a crew, but we weren't able to see it on the field. So we weren't able to make that call. And then the last question, is that play reviewable? Blake said it is not reviewable. And here's my two cents on this. There's replay assist watching everything. If we're seeing home, you should be able to use it to a positive effect if you're the National Football League and the replay assist crew with the officials who want to get it right. This is something I will never forget. Again, 22 years ago now, when I first started with NFL Network and we went to our first owners meeting at which in 2004, spring of 2004, so I guess... 20 years plus ago, 22 seasons ago is when we started NFL Network, at any rate. The question of should we make instant replay permanent was on the table for the National Football League because it was still temporary. There was still kicking tires on it. And Charlie Casserly, then the general manager of the, uh, uh, I believe it was back in 2003, the Texans weren't, uh, weren't there yet. I think he was with Washington. At any rate, Charlie Casserly, he, um, he basically said, hey, if you're seeing it at home, if you're seeing it at home, we should be able to use it. And that was a convincing argument. Where was Charlie with in 2003? He was with Houston. He was with Houston. Yeah. 